<laughs> You're paying 1,000 watts in the hotel. 1,008. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you come in, they give you uh, a candle and a mosquito uh, co- a net, a mosquito coil. You know, the place get a CB, so mosquitoes, not sure. <laughs> you know? So that was it, man. So I had to be there because it was cheap. It was the cheapest I could get around there. If you go to these main hotels, you'll be paying like 7K, 10K a night. I don't have that kind of money, you know? It was the money I made from this bar playing playing in the bar yeah, you came to lagos. i came to lagos just to hold myself a little bit see what it's like i didn't know what was going on i just came just like that even as i was leaving the bar owners in the east was like oh but you're big here what are you going to lagos today? yeah i'm making every week i was making like 150k plus spray money so in a month i, sh- I will have like at least 600k there about which is normal, which it's is very, very good money. Very good money for somebody where, you know, even, yeah. even artists where they now, some of them feel you no know, even make that kind of money. People have not made that money since March last year. Yes, so with all the videos and all that. Yes. You know, so I was like, they were like, what are you doing to yourself? Even my mom, when she when I told her I might go to Lego, I didn't tell her I'm going. Because she would just start her, <laughs> when I told her I might go. And she was like, this one that you're making here is better. Oh. I'm going to start. You don't know what you're going to face. That Lagos, don't go and be sleeping under the bridge. I said, no, not that. At least I saved some money, you know. To, uh, I had to go. And when I came to Lagos, I went to that normal, normal Ashawo hotel. <laughs> <where we did. laughs> so you were recording from the hotel? And I was going to the studio. Okay. They had these uh, East Side Studios at that time. They had at the sign that is like, the raw yeah. MC loaf and all that. So I was going there hoping that they will sign me. You know, that was my dream. They had on, uh, they had another guy, Showboy too. So I went there. I saw what they were doing. I'm like, I have only one album, and I'm working on the next one. But I hope these people can sign me. This the load is too much, so I can shoot proper videos. And you know, I now knew what it was like. I didn't just want to be like be a local artist and just end end it there. I need to take my high life music to do, to the next level. Yeah, you know. Did they sign you? They didn't, cause um, the man said my sound was was too local. How I felt so was bad. Was marketable? Yeah, it was not marketable. He said it's, it's too local, so uh, he doesn't know. But let's see. So what happened was I was still coming to the studio each time they were recording. I I will see how I can, you know, put my voice on their chorus. And I did something that worked out with MC Love, the Sunday or Wendy remix. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So that was so big. And as it was big, my album too was now moving to Lagos. At the same time. At the same time. So now they now started seeing my value. Then the, the, the record level, they were hosting a show in Calabar. At that time, the biggest song was nice congresso at that time so i didn't even know that in calabar my nabanya song is fire my uh, the osondio when the song is fire so the record label now the guy now comes say hey, they told him they told him that my what some i'm getting big there that how much will he pay me i say whatever he has he said okay he will pay me two hundred thousand. i said wow now they are now paying me as an artist, not like a live band performer. Uh, yeah, band musician. I packaged myself, went to Mandela's, bought few shirts. <laughs> 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 went to Mandela's, bought few shirts, you know, said, ah, if I come, they will introduce me. Not all those ones who will just start playing. This one that they will introduce me and I'll come out like an artist, you know. So I went to the show. And when they called my name, the guy with the Nabania song, all more, see Calabar girls, everybody, they <laughs> shout. I say, <laughs> now me be this. <laughs> eh, I climbed the stage, I was giving it to them. And for me... So that was your first real... My first real show. Taste. Yeah. And for me, it was like, I've had so much experience. Remember where I came from? So a lot of people didn't know that I had all that. 
most the people around people people on that rec- uh, record label they didn't know i had all that experience yeah. on stage how to hold the crowd and how to do all that so i i made my songs i made it in such a way that i'll cut talk to the people get back again move to the next so and also you're a live band guy so yes it yeah. was easy for me i was just flowing and i entertained the crowd so well i even did better than nice at that time nice had the song but i had the, the experience the experience performance had. experience yeah so respect to nice because when he came he was like ah congrats everybody you know but the i heard that through the ceos like the, the guy was like ah you see if, how he controlled the crowd and all that so you know it was that that, that was like that yeah. was like the starting point for me as an artist you have you told i heard you tell one of the funniest stories i've ever heard mm. some time ago i don't know if you want to talk about it about i think it was about getting a marketer to sign you on or something along those lines i'm not sure if it was alaba or you do motor alaba yeah and about you running and mm-hmm. do you remember the story I'm talking yeah, about? yeah 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 <laughs> is yeah, this yeah, something yeah. you want to talk about because i remember laughing I think it was a Larry Gaga's video. Yeah, that, I'm a, that, 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 that was a terrible experience, you know. It was a terrible experience because, <laughs> you know, at that point, it was, it was. I think it was like uh, the next album. Okay. You know? No, it was that Nabania album. Okay. Yeah, it was that Nabania because I gave it to Abino. When I came to Lagos, we talked about how much he was going to, you know, sell uh, or how much he was going to buy from me. And... He said he was buying i think it was 3.5 million at that time i was that was the first time i'm hearing million million <laughs> myself getting <laughs> million <laughs> you know i was so happy i went down to the east i was like i'm a millionaire i'm a millionaire something <laughs> is about to happen <laughs> watch out <laughs> you know so but the song was, the song is everywhere the cd is everywhere no call from a buy no nothing <laughs> you know and then I went back to Lagos again <laughs> to see him. No way. He will not pick my calls. He will not, you know. Ah. It was so bad. So basically, I, so you sold your... Had you sold your rights already then? Yeah. You know, at that time... And the music was, was everywhere. But you hadn't gotten your money. Yes. Okay. I have not gotten my money. So it was like... So ah, you were a millionaire on paper, but... On paper. I hadn't oh, seen the money. Ah. Okay. So I was... <laughs> I went back to Lagos. And each time I went to Lagos, it was with Night Bus. You know what it's like to go from Enugu to Lagos with Night Bus, no show. You come back again, disappointed. You know, so one time, it was very bad for me. I went back to Lagos. I made friends with one guy near that uh, Jennifer shop uh, shop uh, in Alaba. <laughs> I told the guy, please, anytime you see this man, come in, just ring me. At least I must call, I must have one on one. He must see me at least, so you will know. So that day, the faith, that faithful, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that faithful that came, you know. So he called you and told you the man was around. He was around. So I, I was already on my way. He said, "Begin come." I said, "I did come." <laughs> so I, as I came, you know, when you come to his shop at that time, artists there will be line a l- big line of artists. Waiting. Waiting. For different reasons. Sir. Not different reasons. For they want them the man they is want a deal. Obino knows the big shot. Yeah. It's like this it's like I don't know, it's like the Apple music. It was the Apple music of the time. Of that time. I mean, you know? Obino was big, yes. Yeah. You know, and at that time it was ah I was waiting, oh waiting, waiting, waiting. Immediately uh, the guy gave me green light. Boom. I skipped the whole line. I came. I said Okay, what's in the happen now? So you walked into his office, you skipped the line. I skipped the line. I said, okay, what's going on? I've been waiting. What's going on? You have to tell me now. He said, who gave you the audacity to jump all this line and badge, badge into my office. my office? So out of anger, I hit my <laughs> hand. On top of his tail. <laughs> that was the last thing I remembered. <laughs> oh, my, the way these people take bundle me out. Do you know? Because he was like their king. Do you know? Are you? Are you? So his people in the office? No, the, you know, the shops around. Okay, like, he's, he's like their the, uh, main man. He's like their godfather. 
all modest people, slaps from different. I was, <laughs> I was just running, just moving first. As I was, they were coming. Hi. I already had some. So they started beating you yeah. inside his office? Not f- outside. You, you know, they first pushed me out. You know that kind? That, that way they just push you out. Are you mad? What? So from one person. Ah, what's the, ah are you? Uh, the, you know how Lagos ah, but, but Before I know it, ah, the guy. Now, the guy that gave me signals was doing me like this. Come, come, come. So <laughs> Your only guy there? Yeah, I was running. As I was running, I was. <laughs> so I now went. The guy, and I said, I said, see you. So I went to Negaros. With uh, with all the you know the courts and everything, it was very bad for me. I, I was in the bus and I cried. I was while I was sitting in the bus. So the woman beside me in the bus, as I was crying, the woman just turned and looked at me with one kind bad eye. She was like, so I didn't know. It was later I found out that normal Lagos way, once somebody start crying, he's about to beg for money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You man was like, who, who, who is it? <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, I was just. She thought you were trying to. Yeah, <laughs> I was just on my own, you know. And that the last money I even had was my. Sorry, because <laughs> anybody who has been on the bus in Lagos knows that game plan. So I can imagine what she was thinking. Sorry, go. <laughs> oh, oh, by the time I came out, you know, uh, uh, I, I, I was inside the bus. By the time I came down. I, I I was stopped at uh, Doing bus stop. I crossed the main road. Without there's no money to go into Surulere, you know, all the way to Bolde Thomas where Nigeria lives. I went by foot. I was going. I was just you know lamenting. Say why did I go? I was asked, I should have stayed. stayed though. I should have waited. I shouldn't have confronted. I felt maybe I didn't do the right thing. I shouldn't have hit my hand. You know, I was just blaming yeah. myself. So. When I got told Nigaro, see you, see what happened. Nigaro said, ah, why would Obaino do like this? Did he, is he himself that beat? I said, no, he, he's not the one that slapped me. It was people around and, you know, he picked up his phone and called Obaino. So Obaino was like, well, I just heard, Obaino, I heard through the phone, Obaino was like, is he still there? I tell him to start coming, you know? So he said, uh, Nigaro now told me, Obano said you should start coming to First Stack right now. You should meet you. Uh, sh- I should meet him at uh, Benny Hotels. Benny Hotel. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> the so, great. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> I went to. I t- took the next. Flight. Wait, with your slap and injury, you I went back inside bus again. Bozu, 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 <laughs> straight down. I went to Benny. So at some point he was coming in. He was with uh, African China, and they were all bouncing in. You know, I, I saw African China. I was like. Wow, this guy is rolling with big guys, you know. This is what I want, you know. I didn't even think about all that. The <laughs> slap again. He's gone. <laughs> just for him to hear me out and just talk to me. And so when he came, he was like, You came to my shop to do anyhow. You, you don't know this Lagos is not like that. Though. You're lucky. You stand, you, there's a queue, you know. You will. I said, I'm so sorry, sir. It should not have happened, you know. They have been waiting. I have been, you know, I was explaining. He said, "Okay." He brought out a draft of three point five million. He said, "I should sign here." I signed. He said, "Oh yeah, this one is already money. Just take it to the bank. They will give it to you." <laughs> I said, "Me?" I said, "Yes." He said, "Go. Call me. Don't worry. We'll work on the video. Just go." Hi. I was so happy. I took the draft. I went immediately, went back. I said, do I go back to <laughs> <laughs> to Surulere? This boy's feet had me for a car. <laughs> I enter night bus. <laughs> I'll go back. Or I said, no, I must hang for this first stack. I will just stay anyhow. I just stay around. So my, my cousin, that was, I had a cousin brother, he lives around. So he came and we just chilled. We stayed for a long time until early morning, around four. I didn't go. I now because it was so late you know i went back i cash i put the money in my bank and i called my friend i said we are going to cotonou to buy a car one hand a <laughs> <laughs> hey, millionaire yes so i went to cotonou street and bought uh, one small honda bulldog with half of the money you know went back to the east pay went to the church and paid my um tithe 
of 300 and that time tighten the mad person now. You must pay this time ah, <laughs> before yeah, God collect yes, them back. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so man, I'll be smarting. So that was it with Obino, but we're still cool. We're cool. We, we, we never stopped communicating even yeah. till now. He's been the one marketing all my albums. Yeah. You know, that was I just, just want to put this in perspective now because yeah. you hearing your story and your struggles being beaten up mm -hmm. you know 200,000 naira for a show was a big deal for you mm -hmm. 3.5 million was what you got for your album I mean first album yeah and where you are now yeah where do you live now Ikoi. you live in your <laughs> personal house in yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I said I want to put that in perspective yeah, 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 yeah. and if you're not Nigerian Ikoi is literally the most expensive neighborhood mm -hmm. in Nigeria you live in your house in Nikoi. I watch your Insta stories and I see you in your swimming pool. Mm -hmm. You have a personal swimming pool. That's mm -hmm. to let you understand how big the compound is. <laughs> if you have space for a swimming pool, yeah, yeah. how much do you get for a show now on an average? Mm, at least, um, depends. Yeah. Um, it's, it's happening right now. It's <laughs> big now. <laughs> yeah, it's big. It's big now. It's It's very inspiring. Yeah. Just, just to put that out there. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, you do, you stuck with your high life, yeah. all through these years. Um, was it because of you know, you know, talked about the band mm -hmm. and how that was your base and you know where you started from and you know it formed or shaped you? Yeah. Was that why, or did you see a vacuum there and say, okay, maybe there's money to be made here? It's not about money. I'm sticking to this. No, it's not about money. It's about being original. I mean, my my style is um is a is a, is a fusion of um, high life, uh, R and B and contemporary jazz all mixed together. That gives you flavor. You know, that's that's my sound. Like it's a mixture of everything, but you can hear that high life sound in it. But I try to blend it. Why is, I, I'm stuck with high life is because I, I want to be original. I want to be remembered for something, you know. And also adding culture to my sound is another thing. You understand? I want you, whenever you hear my sound, you can say, oh, he's Igbo. He's coming from somewhere. You get what I mean? The moment you hear my sound, you want to know where I'm from. You know, so, and I try to keep it that way because high life is an original sound. It's, it's, it's an African sound. You know, that's why sometimes it gets to me when, uh, when the media here in Nigeria, they only try to portray one particular sound. I was going to get to that. Yeah, it's, 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 I don't, I don't, that, that. Do you not, feel like you've been, <clears throat> I don't want to use the word marginalized. Do you think you're mainstream? Oh, how, yeah. But you think you because sound wherever, is accepted enough? Yes, wherever you go, wherever, not just in Nigeria, wherever you go, you must hear me. There's no way you go out at night or go anywhere in the mall or wherever. You must hear me. I've been performing sh uh, in different uh, countries, South America, everywhere, and I'm way, way, I'm so big over there, you know. Because for them to call you... South Africa. South Africa. Massive there. You know, South America, all the way. Trinidad, French Guyana, Suriname. You know, countries that people don't even know about. Yeah. But I've, I've been there performing big, big shows, you know. And they know my songs from my first album to the last one. You get what I mean? So, But the thing is, we are, I think we are limiting ourselves... Because Africa is so blessed. There's so many genres that needs to be out there. It's not just Afrobeat. Yeah. That's why I asked if you feel like you are not celebrated enough. Because, I mean, everybody seems to think that Nigerian music is Afrobeat. Yeah. You are a high life artist. Yeah. You are celebrated internationally. Yeah. But for some weird reason, you don't seem to be when we hear of these awards or mm -hmm. you know recognitions you don't pop up a lot for me i don't Does really matter for you no 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 no. i don't care about awards you know i care about the music 
you know, and the sound, the rhythm, no matter the awards you have, is the impact that your music will have on people. That's all that matters at the end of the day. How many awards did Fela win? The king of Afro- Afrobeats. How many awards? But it's still being celebrated. How many awards did Osadebe win? How many awards did Oliver the Cook win? But these guys are being celebrated, you know. Awards is, is if it comes, that's it's beautiful. Yeah. And guess what? I'm not just talking about. It's not just about. It's not. It's not just a Nigerian thing. I'm talking about Africa. Okay. Why don't I get to hear a lot of uh, diamond platinum? Here. Why don't I get to hear uh, 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 a lot of Fali Pupa? You know, their sound is their sound is not Afrobeat. They have. Uh, that diamond he has his um, bongo sound, you know. Fali Pupa he has his um, uh, 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 Makosa, Makosa Lingala, you know, Lingala, yeah. and he sings with his language. Diamond same. And whenever you hear them, all you think about is East Africa. When you hear uh, 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 Fali Pupa, you think about uh, the Central Africa, the Congo. You think about this country. You understand? So. When you hear my sound, you think about the eastern part of Nigeria. That's the pride. That's my pride. But that shouldn't limit me or the way you see me. So I think the media, we need to celebrate all we have. Let's not just box everything all in. Yeah. Some people ask me, Are you, what kind of sound do you do? Afrobeats? I say, no. It's high life. Why are there not awards that you can see best high life song? Best Fuji, best Bongo in Africa. Why is everything Afrobeat? You understand? So we are limiting ourselves. I'm not. I'm not trying to say Afrobeat is not. It's not great. It's, it's great. It's a big sound. It's, it's more to Africa. Than it's that. more to Africa than that. we have a lot. We don't need other people to bring it out for us. Okay, tomorrow now, maybe a Beyonce or. Yeah, uh, 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 even Obama, for example, who say, "Oh, I love high life music," and then there comes high life music. It's a Nigerian thing. It's and then you now go. No, you can start it. You can start it from here. You know that's why the young artists they are confused. Most of them are confused. They don't even. Some of them are so good. With high life, some of them are so good with Fuji, some of them are so good with other genres. But because everything is all boxed in Afrobeats, everybody's now rushing to play uh, 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 Afrobeats. Yeah. Even whether you're good or not, you're trying to imitate the guys that are, that are already there. I don't try to imitate nobody. I'm gonna be me, I'm gonna keep my sound, I only upgrade the sound, get it up to standard. That's why when you go to South Africa, when you go to Rwanda, when you go to America, when you go to South America, when you go to different places or different countries, you hear my sound. And they accept it as an African sound, not just as a Nigerian sound, as an African sound. You know? So I don't see myself limited. I see myself unlimited. I see myself like everywhere. When you when you talk about this, I mean... Uh are you sticking to your genre because you want to promote the sound from the east or because it makes you a lot of money keep money aside it's important it's important I because you're making it yeah i keep money why i say keep money aside because at the end of the day nobody's gonna ask you how much you made i'm asking <laughs> <laughs> okay even if they ask you it's not gonna mean a lot because you just say this is how much i make somebody's gonna come make much and somebody's coming to make more from that or even from something lower than that i asked you but you didn't answer me but God. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry that, you know i didn't want to say so you don't look like i'm belittling some people or, no, uh, I mean, so here's what i think you told us how much you were making when you were starting yeah but you're not telling us. Okay, I'm that. saying okay, something around from ten million or thereabout. That's what you charge per event. Yes. Okay. You know, and if anybody can say, and you're one of the busiest guys around. There you go. Yeah. Like so. That's I'm asking. Is that what motivates you to yeah, an extent? Yeah, it does. It yeah. does because it shows me how people appreciate. Even in this COVID period, I've gone to sing t- for couples that like it's just them and their family yeah sometimes i go with my guitar 
like the thing you mentioned with my dad. I had an event with just the guitar, my guitar, and then the couple. And that was all it took. And that was all it took. It was just they just needed to hear you sing, you know. And they paid same thing. Uh, uh, if I went to a, with a band and all that, it was just same thing, yeah. you know. So so it's, it's, it's okay. If I'm looking at it, okay, you put an event and you are also performing. David do also performing tennis, uh, also performing uh, tennis. Sorry, also performing this, also performing that. And then I get to be paid. Ah, you know now. You know I see the beat. This not to promote. Don't promote nothing. Pay me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't need the exposure. No, no. I no promote. There's no promotion. Just pay. We come and sing. You know. I'll get the hell out. You know. So I think it's more than that. We should start promoting yeah. every aspect. It's just like in Africa, we're rich in culture. You know that. When you see people from South Africa, when they come out with their and <laughs> you know South Africans are here. When you see East Africans, the Kenyans, the Rwanda, all, the, all those, when they come out, you know they are here. When you see Nigerian, Nigerians, you see them. The Yorubas, the Hausas, the Igbos, everybody come out in their own uh, and, uh, way. You know, so we need to like these are all in one. This is all Africa. Yeah. You know, so it's it's I think it's high time we. Celebrated our yeah, own. Yeah, our own. That's why I was asking if you felt under celebrated. Because mm. you talked a little about internationally, how yeah. you are appreciated. Do you think you're under celebrated in Nigeria? I wouldn't say I'm under because my people love me so much. Yeah. And for that alone, you're grateful. I'm grateful. You know, there are some some people too. I've won a lot of awards here too, but you don't count for I don't go about it. I don't even try. I just see like, oh, thank you. It's beautiful. Onto the next one. Onto the next one. But it's not the end thing for me. It's not. That's not why I'm doing music. No. You understand? That's not why. Because I've seen so many great musicians not get that all that awards. They don't have a cabinet of awards. But they are still up there. You get what I mean? You look at the industry now. Who are you excited about? <laughs> a lot of people. Mostly the young ones that are coming out. Yeah. You know, that are trying to be that are original with their sounds. Do you think High Life? Is dying? I think mm, a little bit. Because if you look at everything, because the, the high life music is not being celebrated enough per se on the media, it looks like it's dying. You get what I mean? It looks like the high life artist, a high life artist will look at it like, ah, there's no way forward. But when they think about the flavor, the Fino, you know, more believable, and the other guys are coming out. They be like, "Oh, there's there's hope." I see flavor flying. I see Fino flying. I see all these guys, you know, going there, uh, coming up there. I think there's hope for me. Yeah, you know, there's hope for me. So, you know, with the media, I think they have a lot of work to do. Not just with high life. I'm talking about Africa in general. Yeah, everybody. Can you believe Diamond? On YouTube is like the biggest act in Nigeria in Africa. His numbers on YouTube is the biggest. It's even bigger than a lot of US American artists. He's bigger than them. But how many times do you get to hear about him here? Yeah. That's why like I I was not surprised when I heard you go to Kenya, they are they are they are, they are uh, protesting. No more Nigerian music in our clubs, no more. Not that I'm supporting that, but they are, they are kind of like, oh, you people don't even promote us. You make us look like we don't have nothing. You know, you should go around. Africa should come together. It's one thing. You know, if, if there's a sound in Kenya that is making rounds, numbers, it shows it's something. How can I have, how can a diamond have a song like with maybe 30, over 30 something million views in a month? And his, the song is not being played as much as it's supposed to be here in Nigeria. That shows you that something is wrong. And then a song with 600,000 views is being played like Michael Jackson just <laughs> <laughs> resurrected. You get what I mean? So we're not promoting Africa enough. We're just like, you know, think, being that uh, maybe selfish because maybe we think right now we have 
this the, the, the staking power or whatever. It, it looks like you've you've cracked being successful without being I don't want to say mainstream, but without being the guy who's on radio every day. Yeah. So do you still care for that sort of mainstream PR for your brand? For my brand. Because it feels like you drop a, drop an album, people who are going to love it are going to love it. You yes. don't care to do all of the extras. Not that I don't do uh, my PR thing. I do to an extent, but I believe it's not every. If I do too much PR, PR I think it's going to take away from. It's going to take a lot away. Because sometimes you do too much PR, you can tell that you're f trying to force this sound on people. Yeah. I don't want to force no sound on anybody. If you like it, you like it. You don't like it, you don't like it. It's as easy as that. You know? If you're not liking it now, don't worry. Maybe tomorrow you might like it. <laughs> you understand? Maybe you go out somewhere and you hear it. Like the first time I, I came out with my baby, there was no PR. Even in Nigeria here, there was an award. It was, uh, I think at that time, it was Channel O Awards. I didn't even know who, what Channel O was because I was just coming from the East. I would see it, but it was not that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so... They were, we were going. It was the first time I'm flying international. I was sitting on uh, economy seat. I didn't even, I just, when, when I knew I was on economy was when Ice Prince came to me. He was from business. He came to me. And like, oh, flavor. The last time we met was in MI studio. We we're recording uh, Africa rapper number one. So we we're like chatting. And then they made one announce that normal announcement. Back to your seat. He now went somewhere. <laughs> and the cutting closed. <laughs> and when he went that, and when he went to that place, the next thing, one white, one fair lady just came. Sawai. <laughs> <laughs> and closed the cutting. You know? Yeah, like what's there? And I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, you get people where they there. You can't get people where they here. This channel, old people now, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so when we got to uh south africa we made our way to immigration get into the immigration stand and all that they spotted me and then the ladies the immigration uh, women they came to me and was like sour so i was like they ain't with your economy with my economy and everybody was looking at me i was like oh you know they were dancing they were like all over me uh -huh. And myself, I was like, oh, off your. <laughs> Oset, yeah. Oset, yeah. Oset, yeah. Oset, yeah. Oset, yeah. Oset, yeah. Oset, economic or business. <laughs> <off your. laughs> this is uh, my time to gallivant small. <laughs> what we say, as we know, fly. Oset, <laughs> <Except> gallivant. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they were there and I was receiving yeah. all the love. And then the same guy, Ice Prince, is my friend, came to me and said, ah, oh, well, your song is big, yeah, I can yeah. see. I said, and I saw I see him more. You know, we talked about it. And when I came in, when I came into the city and everybody already knew who I was. There was no promo. Nothing. It was just sound, good sound, original sound. They never heard that kind of sound before. They were moving to it. You know, and I was big everywhere in South Africa, in the southern region. Also, every other uh, region in Africa. So, yeah. yeah, I think it's about originality. If you do something original, you're going to make your mark. And once you make your mark, that's it. Start from there and build yourself. So whenever anybody comes now and start doing all that, you know my moves, you know. Yeah. They already know. Ah, Where it came from. Yeah. They know. Because, ah, that's flavor. That's, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And you, I want to talk about your friendship with Fino because you guys are very close. Yeah, yeah, we are. Were you friends from Inugu? It happened here. Mm-mm. Fino's uh, movement was like, Fino was an engineer yes. in Enugu, in a studio that I came to record. He's an engineer there, and every engineer makes 1,000 Naira per session. <laughs> so I already booked for the studio, and I was going to pay the engineer. And it was Fino that it was, was there. It was Fino that was there. 
So I saw him and we were like, oh, Ken Ken I mean, we spoke the language, oh, do, do, do. And Nekwe go here. <laughs> 1,000 naira. 1,000. I gave him, I gave him the 1,000 naira and then he did the session for me. So from there, you know, we, we, we started, we became friends and when he came to Lagos, he, he was doing his song, uh, Multiply, he had MI and all those. He came to my, my place in Surulere when I was, where I was there. Not that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the Asha hotel. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, I don't really move from there. And so, yeah. Okay. We are, we, are, we are quite close, very close. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell. Yeah. Um, let's leave all of that now and um, talk about where you are now. And um, basically, I mean, with you're successful. Mm -hmm. It's fair to call you successful. Yeah. Um, looking at other artists, in the industry compared to you I, I, I know you people don't like to compare yeah but do you feel like you are up there where you want to be why not why not because i've got everything everything that it takes to be up up there yeah you know i've i've made my mark i have like about six albums and which is a lot. Which is a lot. The numbers too, they speak yeah. for themselves, you know. Like you can see for yourself too when you go online, go to YouTube and all that to check me out. You can see that I'm there. Whether they put they you know, whether they make it look like that way or not, the numbers don't lie. You know, and also on stage too. A lot of people have watched me on stage, so you can also tell that ah yeah. if he gets you on stage, he's mother. You know, I play all the instruments, about four instruments, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a proper musician, and I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be <laughs> right here <laughs> for a long time. For a long time, you know, this face, this waist, this uh, every every. <laughs> we are gonna see. I'm tired. <laughs> Say this waist. Yes, so <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. as it should be. Yeah. You have how many kids now? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I have yep. three. Three or four. No. You adopted somebody. Yeah, yeah. I have four. You know, I have Three biological, one adopted. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to talk about the adoption now. He's Liberian, I believe. He's Liberian, He's yeah. blind. Mm -hmm. What was the motivation for that? Um, it was not planned. I went to Liberia to do a concert. And then Mastercraft hooked me up with uh, the queen of that region. He said, if I could stop by after my meeting with the parliament, if I could stop by and just say hi, it would mean a lot that he's working with her and she's of great influence and all that. So I stopped by and when I got there, I saw they had, they were already prepared for my coming, you know. They had all the dance groups and everything waiting for me. So when I came there, there was a little boy. I was singing my song, you know, and that was the boy. He sang it so well. His dream was to meet me and all that. So, what year was this? That was like I think about four years ago, three, four okay. years ago. Yeah, you know. So we met, and you know, that was. So, what made you now want to adopt him? I f the boy said to me, he said something. He said, "I said I asked him a question. I said, why do you like me?'" Because I get to meet a lot of fans when they say, "Oh, flavor, I mean, I love your music." I say, "Why?" I say, "I love your music. I, I love how you look. I love." It. I asked him the same question. He said, "I love your star." So that meant a lot to me. He loves my star, you know. And he said that he knew that any time I meet with him, that his own star will shine. <laughs> wow! How old was he? At <laughs> he was like about. 10 years. Wow. Yeah. So that caught my attention. And then I told him, don't worry. When I get to Nigeria, I'm going to make plans for you to come. And then we'll start something. Yeah. So when he came, I felt it was not just about the music. We had something, you know. It was just a connection. You know, so from there, I walked out with the parents and then we became more like a family. You know, so. And that's where it started from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
is he in Lagos with you or he comes and he goes? comes and goes yeah okay he's still in school in Liberia okay he's in secondary school yeah okay yeah nice um is he planning to be a musician because i know he sings a lot with you yeah, yeah, yeah. that's his calling. A lot of music yeah that's his calling you know but so. we we're taking it one step at a time because i also want him to go to school at the same time and not rush it because he's still young you know you if he gets to like maybe 20 and decide like oh this is really what i want to do right and then we all go for that yeah yeah and his family is okay with that awesome okay yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> what about your other children? They are good. Any of them looking like musicians yet? Mm. <laughs> it's too early to tell. Yeah. Yeah, because one thing is they might be interested in music right now and then as they grow, something will happen and they don't have interest anymore. Yeah. Yeah, so it, I think it's too early to tell. And when they get to 10 and keep up the space, they, 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 they keep up with the music thing they are already on ra- right now uh, my first daughter is um she plays the piano very well already yeah how old is she she's like six wow yeah she did you make her do that or did she i pick didn't it up? she always picks up with everything <laughs> i do <laughs> what's know, her name her name is mona mona okay. yeah she you know she's into let's it see. looks like she would yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, then the other ones. The second one is, mm, I don't know what she's, <laughs> but she's, she's uh, not that, she's not that so into music like that. Yeah. You know, but not like the first one. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Never can tell. How are they doing? Yeah, okay. And how did they change you having children? I would say um, it's a natural thing because you know at some point you're going to get here. I knew at some point I was going to get here. I was going to get to the level whereby you start you start having children and then you start being responsible for them. And so when they started coming, it was no surprise. It was no surprise to me. It's something that you already know is going to come. Yes. And when it comes, you have to be prepared for it. Do you plan for them coming? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't plan, plan, but because uh, you never plan, plan. If you if you do, sometimes it might not happen the way you you planned it. You yeah. Know? So, but you just know it's gonna happen. How you don't know, but if it happens, you're ready for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's you've gotten a lot of flack for being a womanizer. Again, so, <laughs> let me just put it out there. You know, no, 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 and no. having a certain type of <laughs> woman, you know, there's always a talk of whenever mm. there's a beauty pageant on TV, uh-huh. you trend. Okay, like, ah, Flavor is watching now to pick <laughs> with that picture <laughs> <laughs> like this, to okay. pick a new looking dil- diligently, yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't uh, come from anywhere. I mean, mm-hmm. isn't that is that a fair way to judge you? Well, you know, that's people judging. You know, um, which is as long as you're in the public eye, yeah, you're gonna get stuff like that. You know, but for me, it was never planned. Never ever planned. Yeah. Even though I can't deny, I love beautiful women. Duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Like I'm an African man. Yeah, I'm not a white man. I'm original African man. So. And I have taste too with women. I don't I don't just go with anything. Even though sometimes you know how it goes. When we say on the uh, beer parlor discussion, you never can tell anything if it happen for the night. <laughs> but you shall go to pray, say <laughs> you know, thing where anything will will happen, make it happen well. You know, make you know go happen the one way go happen where be say go hook you. You go hook you, you go now come begin cry, say ah uh, you know. But at the same time I wouldn't I would just say if uh, anything beautiful is fine. It's, it's beautiful, it's fine for me. How did you meet your first I don't like that term baby mama, but you know, the mother of your f- two of your kids, I believe. Mm-hmm. 
you call her Ogebwe. Ogebwe, Ogebwe one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wouldn't like to talk much about her because you know she she it does, it's not good to you know open up people's private life like that. It's one thing to talk about myself, and it's also another to put her in that position. Yeah, you know. But overall, it was just like one of those meetings, and you know we we everything happened and we good like we're good we all we took up the challenge and you know we're kicking it from you guys dating at the time at that time yeah yeah yeah. okay yeah um for for me i would say uh, i would say like i knew with my job uh, at some point it was gonna be very difficult with women yeah because I'm going to talk about myself with the women. Not I'm not going to talk about them. Yeah. But I'm going to talk about myself with the women. Because uh, at some point, it became like too much. Like there was so many. It was, you know, when you were, t- were you coming from somewhere, from a background whereby everything was, you know. All of a sudden, there's just. Yeah, all of a sudden, there's this sudden boost. Boom. And then the next thing. At that time, I didn't even know how I looked. I didn't even know. I was going to be appealing to the ladies. I never knew. I was just doing my thing. I was a virgin up till 24. Uh-huh. No. I'm telling you. I'm telling you because... Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> mm-hmm. I need you to say that again. I said I was a virgin up till 24. Remember I told you... We, wow. Yeah. Remember I told you... This we, the flavor. Yes. Yeah, so, remember I told you... Um, with my uh, uh, the first the man that took me in that I served, you know what, my starting point. I told you how it was. There was no television, there was no woman, there was no alcohol. There was so no you didn't have sex until you were twenty four. No sex until I was twenty four years old. And my f- the first sex I did the first time I had sex was even like everything happened while I was. Uh, working you know when i came like i told you i joined i went into the streets Sorry, like, when you said when i came i just <laughs> thought <I'm sorry>. <laughs> 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 you know when, no no, no, no. <laughs> uh, well it was like when i moved to the streets like i told you when the i moved in i was like let me take my music i was i was not gonna be with my mom doing all that jewelry stuff i had to go back and see what i can do myself i do for myself musically so I had to go into the street. So I joined different bands. So the first time it happened, I can tell you about that. I had a show. Okay? Not like a show show. Well, it was we had to open up a a big hotel. They just built Enugu? in Enugu. What was the name again? Uh, is it MNA? I will remember the name as I'm telling the story. So it was it was a it was an opening of uh, the hotel and uh, they brought a lot of girls from uh Airborne State University Enugu yes, uh, you know, mix Chonao, mix Kobo. <laughs> <laughs> they brought everybody all together and were the band so at that time i didn't know nothing i was just on the piano playing and singing at the same time so the owner of the hotel was there is it the owner or the big i don't know whether it's the owner but some it's like the guy controls yeah it was controlling everything there and then we were playing he had this girl seated by him and you know at some point the girl came up stage as i was singing I had this song I was singing that time, the lady in red, you know, this dance, the girl came, she was all smiles. I was like playing and, you know, vibing with her. She came, she was praying some money. She was looking at me some type of way, but it was normal <laughs> to me because I seen stuff like that. And then after that, after playing, we went to, they had a club too. They were also opening that club. Too. Everything was opening, opening. Went to the club and then the girl came to me there. And like, hey, remember? You're the one that was playing, right? I said, Yeah, I saw you. Remember, I saw you. I sprayed. I said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She now said, okay, you know, uh, I'm going to the pool with my friends. I said, okay, say, do you mind if you can, can you join us? I said, okay, well, I will come, <laughs> you know. So from there, that was it. You know, that was how, that was the first time. From right there, she found her way and found out that I was a virgin. She now told me, you know what? I'm going to make you a man. <laughs> <laughs> what is this girl's name? <laughs> Can I even remember her name again? <laughs> what was that her name again? So I'm trying to... She make opened up. Open, uh, opened me and she asked me. Because she saw the way I was like, you know. She could tell. You know, because she was swimming. I was somewhere watching, watching her and her friends. And then what she was wearing, like, pulled off, you know. And then she looked at me and I looked at her. I was, she said, can you help? She came close. I helped her to fix back. <laughs> <laughs> like a gentleman. Yes. Like you should. <laughs> So I put it back, and then when I was putting it back, I was like, you know, you can't tell, you're novice now, you don't know nothing. I was putting like normal, and then she was she was looking at me with that eye, and she was like, why are you, I'm like, I don't understand. Are you just helping me? <laughs> no, she asked me to, not just help, she asked me to, because I can't just, you know, and then she was like, why are you? Like, I didn't talk to her. I just first of all put the thing back because the thing come the <laughs> somehow for my eye. So I stayed, and she was I was on my own. She came again. She said, "You didn't even try to press horn." This <laughs> 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 slang, sir. <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 you didn't even try to press horn. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean horn? Like PP or? <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> she like, you know, I was still looking at her with that, that you know, that look. And then she now, I think she picked up courage at that point and was like, I think this boy I said, Have you done it before? In my mind, I was like, you better tell her so she will help you. If you have not, since you have not, so you get off all this. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, I just op I opened up. I said, you say, Mata? I told her, I said, hey, to be honest, I have not. She said, are you sure? I said, all this play. I said, no. She said, I don't believe you. I said, for real. She said, okay, don't worry. I'll make you a man today. It didn't rang in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, let's see how it goes. There. Because I don't know what it was like. I just knew two people, men and woman and woman would just be. I don't know. I've never in my life or all through with my old guy was just you know uh, 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 uh the band from band equipment packing we're going somewhere we come back go to the market clean our guy's shoes boil water <laughs> all that's all i knew you know but i see man and i see, I see man and woman i don't know what it was, what it was like you know so I was just eager to know. What and you never looked back after that? I, after what? <laughs> after testing. Oh, from then, I started Wabwana. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you know, at that time, there was no sex education. You don't know, no. You just like, you know, that's why I always tell people, don't judge people. You know, don't judge because you never tell. People come from different backgrounds. People come from there's there's conditions, there's situations. Most especially here in Africa, you don't know what it's like. You know, I've never had someone tell me what it's like, how to. You know, I never. Everything I've known, in my master's office or house was just music, and that was it. As a matter of fact, my guy was not even married. 
he had he was married in the states but living with him we didn't live with no woman you know after each play we packed all the instruments oil the wires and cleaned them everything was just music work 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 work, work, work. so i never thought about all that so after that happened you know you really became a man i became a man. <laughs> <laughs> and then the girl to asked me a question she said uh i might not see you again but i don't know there was no phone there was no telephone that time it was yeah, mobile uh, phones eh? yeah there was no yeah, it was um there are mobile phones there was telephone but there's no mobile phone it was a uh, email so she gave me her email and said if i find time i should write her did you have sex after her, after that with her no nah, i never saw just her. that one time. just that one did you send her an email i went i came back i called my friend i was like hey if you see what happened even my friend thought I was I was this virgin long time ago. He said, eh, so all this time you, you. I said, I don't know. So you've not seen her since then? I never. Do you think she knows you're the same person now? I don't Those know. Become the superstar. <laughs> I don't know. If she knows, maybe she might have looked for me. <laughs> or let her know now. <laughs> the real one now. <laughs> maybe if she knew, wow. you know. So and you know that's why i said um when i was so when i now got famous and everything was happening i was traveling to different countries and everywhere i came my song i'm sorry everywhere i came sorry okay you are just coming <laughs> i need to fix my head oh fix it fix it fix it. <laughs> so, oh yeah so everywhere i came was like um you see, girls, because my song, everything about my music appealed to them. The way I danced, the way I, you know, everything just appealed to them. So it was All like... All of a sudden, there was a rush. Yeah, it was a rush, rush, rush. You know, I knew something like that was going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to happen that same way. You know, so I... Traveling to different countries, it was difficult. Whenever I, 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 I come to uh, I, I come to any country, it was just difficult with the women. Because you see that the miss of that country is coming with flowers. Hello, flavor. Your it speck. A, it will be speck. Boom. And I'm somewhere, you know. I say, yeah. Uh, Good thing, no the good thing, and I get bond now. No matter what you make yourself like, you must confirm when better thing pass, you know. And as original African man, you know, go just the pass I, like that, you know. Now I don't go come, I go look well. Did you meet Sandra that way? Mm, no. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. That, that's why i said uh, meeting sandra was different it was yeah. no you know my travel or no no no, no. it has nothing it to do personal. with it yeah it was just special what's she to you now to me right now like co-parenting are you just co-parenting or in a relationship um i don't want to talk about it okay yeah i just want to say we're family you know and you have two kids together yeah so you better uh, be family yeah we're family and we understand <laughs> ourselves so well. there were rumors that you guys got married one time there's so many rumors, you know. Every year they're coming up. I'm not a married man now. I'm still single. How did Anna <laughs> get in the picture? <laughs> Anna, uh, Anna Banner. Yeah. How did she get in the picture? Uh, same thing. I'm gonna say. You know, I don't want to talk about all that because it did happen in, in the line of duty. It was, uh, yeah. Cause he said in the line of duty. yeah because i was uh, yeah i'm talking about like i travel yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know um for me i would say i don't want to talk about them because they're family to me you know uh i don't want to talk about how we met or how everything is going all i know is that they are family to me and i keep it that way because what we have together is, is just gonna be there yeah yeah because there's kids involved you know is everybody happy though 
Because I, I know you said there's a lot of rumors, but mm. we always see a lot of the stories and, you know, we hear things about, you know, rifts and beef mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. all of that. Is everybody happy? I mean, there's... And how do you feel about the dynamic? I mean, there's, 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 there's ups and downs, yeah. you know, all these years, but it's all part of the process. It's all part of his experience. It's, it's life. That's what it's about. And we're all learning. You know, so the most important thing is that there's already something in between, which are the kids, and we have to keep it. And we have to keep being family, you know, yeah. for the, for that purpose. If not, it will just be like, here I say, no, some girl where you just meet and you know, just knock the thing. You just everybody don't go. No, no, nothing will come out of them, you know. But as long as kids are involved, you always have to be responsible and try as much as possible, you know, to keep the family moving, you yeah. know, keep that love, keep that respect and keep everything and wish everybody well, you know, so we all be, you know, try to be happy. I miss everything. I miss all the whole ups and down, you know, so. Are you honestly, mm-hmm. are you happy? Yeah, I am because <laughs> very, very happy. You know, when I look at the kids, that's all that matters. I'm so, so happy because I never expected it to happen this way or everything to happen this way. But when you also look at the positives, you see happiness in it. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to take it. I mean, like I said before, this is life. You live it. In Igbo, there's this other day that says, Oya Furoka. As long as you day, you will see. You know, so now when something don't happen the way you want it to happen or to be, you now feel like, ah, I'm not supposed to. I, I swallow everything and I get right on with it and I make myself happy and I see reason to also make myself happy, you know. And them too, same. Everybody's happy. Yeah, yeah everybody's happy. Where does Delish fit in all of this? Uh-uh, Delish, you Ah... <laughs> uh, why delish? Because <laughs> rumors too. No, no. This is beyond rumors. Because okay, yeah. this comes up a lot. Um, and no, no. for those who don't know, delish was a, she's Namibian, I believe. Mm-hmm. She was a Big Brother Africa star. There's been pictures online. There's been stories online, mm-hmm. and there was a lot of talk about the fact that you guys were dating. You did a video together. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, mm. um, where does she coming in this then? I mean, there's no child. Mm-hmm. That we know of. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> no yeah. I mean, um, I think still same. She's she's a friend. Yeah. You know, she's been. Uh, we work together, and um, after all that, we still remain friends. You know. But you know, I see they go now. Since you know they I don't know. <laughs> you gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But the thing is, for me, like I told you, I'm an African man. You know. Um what does that mean? It means that as an African man, when you talk about ah, what about you and so so person? What about you and so so person? What about you and so so person? You know, it's just gonna be like uh ah i see you and this person okay thank you i don't have to say nothing okay you know i see okay thank you i know i'm saying nothing but it is what it is she's she's um she's a very nice person and you know with friends uh there's no child involved there's uh no relationship you know we're friends and that's what yeah. it is yeah is it fascinating to you that you went from <laughs> Because so, it's um, it's fascinating me now. Okay, you went from <laughs> Flavor, who <laughs> was a virgin until twenty four, mm-hmm. to this guy who has three kids out of wedlock, mm-hmm. has a lot of woman drama, does the bottom of him and talks about the rawest things. Uh-huh. How did you go from that to this? Well, I uh, mean, it's not on. It's, I'm just wondering what yeah, 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 do you yeah, ever yeah. think about it. How that happened? No, I don't, cause I'm like I see myself as an unlimited guy. I don't even know what's gonna happen in the next minute, you know. 
So I keep evolving, I keep growing. And at the same time, everything is all part of, of all part of the movement, all part of my job. My job is not, this our job is not easy. Yeah. You know, um we all didn't come from that kind of home or that kind of background whereby everything is already put in place. Like I knew everything from the streets, just like I told you how I was this virgin and all that. You know, so you're not gonna get everything right as you want or all that. And at the same time, whether you get it right or not, it's still all part of the process. Yeah. You're still learning, is an experience, is life, you're living it and you you're seeing how it goes. So if I look at myself when I was with my master and everything was all that, it was all good for me. From that time to till now, it's still all good because it's a lot of experience, it's a lot of drama, it's a lot of whatever. You know, but when the film came uh, became that serious, I knew with the women it was not gonna be easy. Yeah. You know, because um, given all these things, it's, it's given all these blessings. I mean, you kind of sell sex. Yeah. You take off your shirt, uh-huh. you're winding your waist. Thank you. So you don't. You're winding it in different uh, angles. So it's you know? intentional. Yes, it has to be. Do you think you're ever gonna get married? Why not? I will. Most definitely, I will. Uh, Have you found a wife? No, I've not. I've not. I'm not even looking for now because I'm not in that uh, mental space. You know, to to look for a wife, you have to. What you're looking for, I need a woman that will. I need a, you have to be that person for yourself first. First, and then when you're done with yourself, you now start looking for. You understand? So I'm not in that mental space right now. If I tell myself I'm looking for a wife now, I will fail. Any girl that is going to come my way, I will disappoint her. My character will deal with her. It will not work out. You think it's fair to the women? It's not fair. That's why I try as much as possible to remain this way. (laughs) 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 It's not, you know. The worst thing you can do is to treat a woman bad. Knowing fully well, I cannot <laughs> because I look at I looked at the whole thing. I tell myself, "Oh boy." Sometimes I see beautiful people online with all their, you know, and I see the love they try to show each other. I see how the man try to be for his wife. How he oh, I look at myself. I say, "No, <laughs> they are showing me." <laughs> <laughs> And I tell myself the truth. Some people say, ah, you, are you not old enough? At least you're up to 35. Why can't you? Uh, why are you saying why can't you? Eh? It's not about why can't you. Can you? You know? So I don't no need to fool myself or bring in somebody and start, you know, the, uh, the treating her bad. Everything is happening around me. Everything, a lot. With women, you know? You go out somewhere, how can the person endure even the one that is the baggage, the luggage I'm already carrying? And we go somewhere and she already, she's already seen people coming. Ah, and all the ladies, hey, hello, how are you, flavor? What? You know, to be able to cope with that. And knowing fully well that once they say, hello, how are you, flavor? I'm all smiles. I'm not going to say, ah, I'm So that's what I'm asking. You probably would never get married. No, 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 no. It looks like it's a weakness. No, it's not. No, no. No, there's no. It's, it's, it's like I said in the line of duty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm out somewhere. Anywhere. Once I step out, it's in the line of duty, because when I if I go out, I'm flavor. When I'm on the inside, I'm chinedu. You know, you get what I mean. I'm chinedu on the inside. So what you see is chinedu. There's nobody coming. There's nothing. When I get out there. And then they are coming to me and be like, yo, they don't even care who is there. Some ladies, they make it very difficult. They know they are beautiful. They know that somebody with you. And even with that person with you, they'll just come, hey, with rolling all their eyes. I like the way you dance. Like, what's that? The way you dance. Uh-huh. They say the way you dance. And then, of course, they will even off get, get their phones and give it to the girl, to your woman or whoever that is there with you. Can you take pictures? She might be okay with it today, tomorrow. Next tomorrow, she start complaining. 
And then when you try to change for her, you stop being who you are. When you're not ready to stop being that person. So are you saying you, ha- you have to find the woman who's okay with that? Is that what There it is? is no woman that will be okay with it. It's not possible. I've tried so many times. So you might never get married? Then? No, for now, now that everything is happening, boom, 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 now, it's not possible. You are you going to have more children? Um, I don't know. Because the ones I had, I didn't know that it was just going to happen that way. So I don't know. If it happens, children are blessings from God. So I don't know. I won't say, uh, let me limit myself and wear all the cap, you know? No ways. Are you dating any of the two women? Right now, I'm not dating, you know? Um, uh, I'm not dating right now. Just mothers of your children? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not dating no one right now. Yeah. We're just family. We we, we got to do what we have to do and make sure the kids are happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has to be that way cuz you know, um when you say you're into a relationship or you're into something serious, you have to give it all you have. You look like you're not trying at all. Or you don't want to try. It's not that I don't want to try. The time is not right. You know, what if the time is never right? Well, if you say, no, it can't be. It can be. I can't be this way forever. I can't be this, uh, you know, forever. No, it's not possible. At some point, I'm going to slow down. You know, as human nature, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to slow down. You know, so when that happens, maybe at that time, I'll be looking at myself, you know what? Oh boy, you don't try. I mean, you don't have to get married. Don't feel like I'm saying you have to get married. No, I have to. Oh, you think you have to? Yes, I have to. I have to at some point. Cause Does your mom complain about it? Because <laughs> your well, mom is the one person. Uh, yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so she, she she yeah, of course she does. She's like yeah, you have tried with this music thing. You have gotten to that I've, at least wherever I go. I've agreed. Nerf level. Oh no, I don't know. It's time for a bump. Yeah, because no no, chota no no phone no no. And can we not gaga bomb when you give me an account? All these things they are talking about you and this person, you and this person. You might go, Chotan no good roof when you come sent a hair on your car and see a man in the window, no working so, but don't worry, I'm not for a beer, you know. And then the next minute, she you see me carrying somebody from the bush. And <laughs> <laughs> he said, From the bush, <laughs> I'm talking about my last video, you know. And she saw it, she was like, oh nah, mo, on yen ki isi kwa non fiya bu pota. I baba zili yu mo fiya. You know, so like, listen, let me tell you this. Uh, I give everything for the job. Now that I can. You know, if it means me going all naked and all that, as long as I'm covering the most important uh, uh, engines. And you're happy. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. And the people, they're happy. That's it for me right now. Because that's how I feed. That's how I make my uh, uh, living. And that's how I take care of my family. So I'm going to do all that. I don't have no other profession. If not for music, I cannot be a banker, I cannot be a doctor, I cannot be a lawyer. It's all entertainment for me. So if not that, what else am I going to do? So if I fail with this, if I don't give everything I have right now that I'm still vibrant and young, there's nothing else. So there's no need for me to tell myself, oh, you have tried, you can now go into other businesses. I can't, I will fail in those businesses. So if you meet a woman today, mm-hmm. Who's okay with all of this? Where is she? If you do. Do you know anyone? I'm asking you. So <laughs> if a woman comes and she's yeah. fine, you can be naked, I'm happy. It's not would about, you marry her? It's not about what she says. It's about doings. You're not you're avoiding the question. I'm yeah. I'm not avoiding it. If you found a woman today uh-huh. who's okay with your profession, okay. wants to take pictures of you with girls and it's fine. Yeah. And if you want to be naked and cover your engine. She's fine. Okay. With everything, would you marry her? I'll give her trial. What does trial mean? 
it will happen now. We will we'll date for some time. And, she, and you find out that she's fine with it. Oh, I'm good to go. Will you marry her? I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm good to go. Because, like why I said I'll give her a trial is, we'll see how it goes. But it never works. Because it's not even about, she, who is that person that will just come and tell you, uh, no matter what you want to do, you can do. It's not. Is she going to be following you everywhere? It's a thing of you, flavor. Me, Chine, do say. So you are not ready. Yeah, it's me telling myself. You know what? It's time for you to off the lights. Off this light. It's too done. Done bright. Off them. Make you. Zukeni ke. Zukeni ke na mwa zuei ke. Not ego pia baloko. Look, right. See, I'm being honest, you know. I know a lot of people might not agree with what I'm saying. A lot of people might have their personal opinions to everything I've been saying. But at the same time, I wear the shoe and I know how it is. Yeah. You know, I give it all for my craft. When you look at artists who get married, do you think, what do you think? It depends on who. If it works out for you, fine. Because a lot of artists, they, they, can't get, they can't get married. Nobody is disturbing them. They don't sell sex, okay. you know. They come on stage, they have their songs, they do what they have to do, and they get the hell out. Yeah, you know. But some artists are, are se- let me will I say objects or whatever. I don't know how to put it, but like you, <laughs> you know, it, it, it might be difficult because of what you're trying to sell. Would you marry an artist? No. Why not? Uh. We are suffering from the same <laughs> issues. Uh, so I have to cure mine and cure her. It's a lot of problem. <laughs> yeah, so we are suffering. Both of us, we have to say, okay. Uh, for example, Pase Chidema, for example. Who everybody thought you were dating. Uh-huh. A Chidema now. She's my friend and we've been out so many places. There are people coming to me take pictures to tell me how much they, how they, you know. And there's also boy, men coming to her. Yeah. So after all that, we'll look at each other and be like, yeah, okay. You know. So but you that know, should make you understand better now, isn't it? Understand what? <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing to understand because I'm a man. She's a woman. She knows that if there were five girls that come to me, to say whatever they have to say, whether they like me or whether they just want to take pictures and go. I miss those five, maybe two or three. Most. Then me too as a man, I know that I missed five boys, maybe three boys, two potential men. <laughs> <laughs> now one, one of them must take uh, their complimentary card or whatever. She might not go through it that day. Okay, maybe one of the days we are having issues or some something. She might just go and bring it out and just say, "Let me even give a call, uh, give this man a call. Forget this man that gives me issues. Let me just come. I'm coming." She goes there. One thing. Stop I, saying come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then one thing happens, and then the next thing, whoa, you know, that's it. Ah, um, she know, she know, like she will know what I know. Because it's the same thing yeah. from her side and my side. Some people might get to book her and the only uh, reason for booking her is to, just to have one-on-one with her. Even if nothing happens, just to have that one-on-one. And same thing goes here. She sees some, some people might book me and then she'd be like, yo, you know, this lady will book you self. <laughs> All this your dance. You can't expect me to be booked and then I come there. Maybe I know that this person that booked me, she likes me. And then I get there and I'm all doing, oh, I don't want to be make it look like, say, I'm selling myself to her. Whether you like me or not, once I'm there to sing, I will jaggy very well and be... <laughs> <laughs> and you will enjoy your money. This has been, this has been so mm. enlightening. Yeah. <laughs> For want of a better word. Uh, Are you having a lot of sex? Because that's what I'm getting. Organe. Um. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, because I won't tell you that I don't. You know, I am. Uh, if I don't, it's going to be disturbing <laughs> right now. Yeah, <laughs> I have to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, yes, you will be. Because, hey, what, I, what will I be doing? I didn't tell you I'm celibate. Celebrate for who? For when? For how? For waiting, waiting. Makagin again, again, man. Makagin, man, man. You know. So you are very active. Uh, oh, uh, overactive. You know, with all that the training and everything, of course, it has to ooze out some way. You know, <laughs> I have to let it out some way. You know, but I'm being careful, like, um, and one thing I don't do, I don't try to date the fans is very 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 draining because it looks like you're deceiving them you know the power you have and then you get a fan that gets to say oh you know this person does not even really know what she's doing yeah. getting at you and you're trying to it doesn't make sense for me so i go for the normal woman that i the see mbgn uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's MBGN. You know they happen that way. Oh. That's what everybody says. That's the thing. And it's, now. There's a pattern. You can't blame people. No, no, no. I've been at them. They like me. You see, you know they be like that too. You know they be. I know there was they... no MBGN last year. Were you disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> I even thank God. Say I don't see that my picture. Why they like you say? Ah, this year make I hear what. <laughs> Because whenever it happens, you know, some of my friends will be like, ah, see you. And whenever I see that picture, I'm like, <laughs> it all sets. <laughs> it all sets, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's... <laughs> Thank you. For yeah. everything. What's, yeah. what's next? What's, what's up for the... New- I know you dropped an album mm-hmm. um, recently. What's the plan for 2021? Yeah, the, f- the first for 2020 the most important thing for 2021 is like we are trying to be safe you know yeah uh a lot is going a lot a lot is going on right now and i think the the, the least you can do for yourself is just be safe because um with everything that is going on you can't really do much you can't if you try to you you that will be you breaking the the covid rules <laughs> you know and um, you just try to be safe and that's what i'm doing try to be safe and try to look into other things you know other things other things i've not been looking into all this while because i've been too busy and all that yeah so just staying safe and all yeah with the music with the music i keep rehearsing yeah. keep, you know sharpening up with the guitars and the voice you know pianos the drums and all that also keep rehearsing with the band we still go for gigs but they are you know like more intimate they are more intimate gigs yeah thank you very much flavor thank Chinedu. you <laughs> <laughs> who was here today both of them actually both I think flavor and Chinedu. yeah at first it was Chinedu, then later on <laughs> flavor came <laughs> 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 Please join um, his Indie Bottle FM. Mm-hmm. What days does it come on? Because that's my favorite part of your yeah. career now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. It's, it used to be Fridays. I don't know if it's still on. Yeah, Fridays and Sundays. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Instagram Live. And also, thank you for coming in. Yeah. Well, you bring a lot of fire when yeah, you come. Then quite the interesting. Then these girls know Ebuka is here. <laughs> you, know, they, you know, you're slay now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for all you do. And keep being original. And I think it's very, very important to say that because, like you said, in, in a time where everybody's trying to sound the same, mm-hmm. you've stuck to your high life sound and high life is not seen by a lot of people as cool. Yeah. But you've made it cool and yeah. decided to just be there. And, you know, thanks a lot. And wish you all the best. Hello. Thanks Hello. a lot for being here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hey, okay, Jack. It's me, Jugo. Looking at she signed the church.